Brandon Shop has a sit down with Bradley Martin on his podcast, Raw Talk, where he has some of the worst takes. Being full transparent, those guys would f up. I was going to say. <laughs> on who would win in a street fight between Bradley Martin and Mikey Musumeci or Demetrius Johnson. Let's check it out. Right from the beginning, it starts off hot with Brandon Schaub saying that Martin would lose in a street fight to both Devin Haney and Nate Diaz. Being full transparent, those guys would f*** up. I was going to say. <laughs> I was going to say, listen. Because let me just help you out here. So, you know, I was, uh, I'm, how, how much you weigh? About 260 right now. 260. You're a big dude. Shredded yeah. too. All, all, you know, bodied up. Yeah. I, in my prime, I was 6'4", 240. Probably 10% body fat. Golden Gloves champion boxer, like, you know, top 10 UFC. Skilled dude. Skilled. If you're asking me, I'm not sure if Nate Diaz or Devin Haney can beat up Bradley Martin in a street fight. Bradley Martin is very athletic. He's able to dunk, and he can jump out of a four-foot pool. Brandon Schaub goes out of his way to lie about the way he looked when he was competing in MMA in the UFC. He says he was roughly 10% body fat, which is horribly incorrect. He was most likely closer to 18 or 20% body fat. According to Brandon Schaub, the most he ever trained was for Travis Brown, and during the weigh-ins, he was not nearly close 10% body fat. The whole thing is a street fight. Well, hold on now, let me, let me clarify. <laughs> and I don't know you. if you're serious or not, because okay, you always fuck around. This <laughs> and it goes viral, so good for you. But I have to defend your ass, man, because we're buddies. I'm it's not gonna exhausting. Lie. I'm not going to lie, it's a little trolly. The name yeah. one's a little trolly. Job tells Martin that he has to defend him to the MMA and boxing community, but I'm not sure if anyone in either of those communities take anything that Brandon says with a grain of salt. I don't believe that anyone listens to him in either one of those communities. What do you <laughs> say to defend me? That's what's cu I'm curious. I just say like because people hate it. I hate it. They hate, hate it. Especially it, bro. hardcore fans. I, I love it I though. I, I love how much they hate it. I defend you. Just I, I say this. It's like ignorance is bliss <laughs> like you know it is what it is but then also that those aspirations and the self-belief in yourself is shab himself says in this podcast that he lets luke thomas handle the reins when they're discussing mma it's because this guy has no original ideas and doesn't do any research on the matter he once said in his podcast that he was rooting for pantoja in the pantoja versus brandon moreno fight because pantoja was the last person to knock out islam makachev you know who Pantoja beat, right? No. Makachev knocked him out. Oh, ever heard long of him? Time ago. Doesn't matter. Still knocked him out. Yeah. That's how bad that motherfucker is. Damn. That he did not know that there was no way that 125 pound Pantoja knocked out Islam Makachev. Oh, to me. But now Demetrius Johnson, who fights at 125 in a street fight with you up? Why dude? Demetrius Johnson? He's tiny, but he's. Black belt and everything when it comes to hand to hand combat. But you don't. So on the ground, I know you. Brandon Shaw brings up Demetrius Johnson, who fights at one championship and is currently the flyweight champion at 135, and says that he would beat up Bradley Martin in a street fight. Brandon Shaw says that Demetrius Johnson has a black belt and everything, but Bradley Martin's fists are the size of Demetrius Johnson's head. One hit and he would be unconscious. I don't know who it is. Okay, like uh, Mike uh, Mushameshi, he's the number one, like one of the number one jiu-jitsu guys. He trains um, in uh, Mark Zuckerberg. He's his trainer, but he's like the outlier. He looks like a nerd, but savage. So you're so big, I assume you think him like Rampage Jackson. If you've ever seen that against Paulo Filo, Rampage, or Paulo gets him in like an arm bar or a triangle, and he just picks him up, slams him on the ground like Hulk and knocks him out. So I assume you're thinking that. They kill them, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. With the guys like that, they're going to get to your ankles so fast, you're not going to have time to pick them up. And then they also, all they do is deal with big guys, so they know how to put you in a position where you don't have leverage to but pick them up. 125 pounds, though? That's so... Mikey Musumeci is a jiu-jitsu fighter that fights under 135 pounds. I've seen Musumeci get into 50-50 leg entanglements. If he would try something like that with Martin... Martin would just swing those huge lunchbox fists and crush his head. There is no way that these guys are 100 and 135 pounds and would beat up Martin in a street fight. There's no rules. There is no rule set. I don't like the comparison. I don't like when fighters compare to other people. I don't like interviewers comparing themselves to fighters. 
but these fighters are unrealistic to think that they are under 135 pounds and would survive a street fight where there's no rules and they can literally lift them off the ground and slam them to the ground. Brandon Schaub's evidence for why Martin would have such a difficult time with even people the size of Demetrius Johnson or Mikey Musumeci is because I saw a video of Gordon Ryan grappling with the mountain. Thor. He's okay. strong. Thor's strong, strong than you, right? Thor's strong, strong right? Is way stronger. So, world's strongest man at the time, you know, or he's been like multiple world's strongest man. I did this campaign. He's also 6'8". He's 6'8", 400 pounds, but yeah. shredded too, jacked. He rolled with uh, Gordon Ryan. You know what Gordon Ryan is? He's about 220 pounds. Yeah, no, well, that guy's heavier. He's 220 pounds. Yeah. 220 pounds. He's the best jiu-jitsu practitioner maybe of all time. Yeah. But Thor rolled with him. I'm a fan of that guy, by Yeah, the he's way. the best. Yeah. Gordon, Ryan, Gordon, Gordon Ryan's salt of the earth. He's yeah. one of the best people I know. But he rolled with the mountain. The mountain's a big, strong guy, deadlifts a 1,000 pounds. And he rolled with Gordon Ryan, and he went into it. I know, like, this is his thing, but I'm so much bigger. I'm just going to lay on top of him. He couldn't. He got done and was like, oh, dude. Like, I couldn't. Do, like, I would go to lay on top of him, and he'd hold me like a baby. And but they were only grappling. There were many positions where if the mountain decided to throw a punch at Gordon Ryan, he'd go unconscious. When there's no rules, the mountain's size and strength would play a bigger part than if they're just grappling. That's what Brandon Schaub doesn't understand. There's no rules. This is a street fight. Also, Marin does have some experience in jujitsu. I do believe he's trained, and I'm not sure if he's received any type of belt, but I have seen footage of him sparring in jujitsu, and some of them are a lot larger than Demetrius Johnson and Mikey Musumeci. Your neck, he's gonna get your ankles, your but wrist. But I've rolled, I've rolled with like a uh, like a really high level black belt um, in, in here in Tarzana, Edwin. And he's like, I think he's like one of the number one guys. In but, but there's levels too. So, and, but he's a heavyweight, right? He's like 180. 180. Yeah. There's just. But like, I'm, I, I'm talking about like the outliers. Like they're gonna like Crone Gracie's 145 pounds. I, uh, you know, I was black belt jujitsu. Like I can't beat him. 